Yo guys what's up Jonas here and I'm back today with another video. Now you know me I upload like once every decade but today I had to bounce back on a previous video that I uploaded and do an updated version because it did not work for a lot of people and the solutions that I seem to have proposed did not do the job for most of the people who watched the video. And since the video got a, uh, some retention, I understood that this is a quite trending and uh, recurring error, if I might say, and that a fix had to be found pretty fast. So I went ahead and did my research on the topic towards why we are not able to purchase games from the PlayStation Now, we are not able to do PlayStation Store purchases, and PlayStation Plus is actually failing, and there's no actual reason to why this is happening. But there is a few alternatives and solutions that I will propose and that I found and some of them are some logical deductions towards the problem and pretty much we're gonna start by a fix that is different from the one that I proposed in my previous video when I suggested to you to add funds, to change methods, to buy the items you want to buy somewhere else and then use the redeem code option because it's a different process so in this one we're going to go into settings and then we're going to go into account information from here instead of changing the payment method like we did last time we're going to sign in id and then we're going to change the email address that we use to sign in into our account now keep in mind, you, this will sign you out from your PlayStation account, so you need to have your password remembered. Because once you change your email address right here, you will go into your email, and then you will receive in your inbox an email from PlayStation stating that they changed your email address, and then you need to use this one to sign in again. So you're going to confirm this email, and then you're going to go back to your PlayStation 4 system, and then you're going to sign back in using that email account and that new password. From here go to the playstation store and try to do your purchase again if this did not work for you what i proposed in my last video for the ones who did not watch it is to add funds into your wallet like go to the wallet and add a new payment method like paypal or credit card or whatever like payment method that you use and then try to do the purchase after you put some balance into your account but then for the people who are trying to purchase other stuff other than playstation plus like free trials and uh like extensions for games and other things like that for playstation plus what you can try as well is to download the free game that prompts you to play playstation plus to use playstation plus for example and then go ahead and download that game and then try to buy it from the in-game app if you understand what i mean like let it prompt you to buy playstation plus do not search for it by yourself for the people who try to do the free trial method and it's not working Try actually purchasing PlayStation Plus for one month and then try to redo the free trial later on. This might also work for you, as I saw in one of the comments. It would for some people. And then finally, what I request, what I would suggest you to do for people who are buying something other than PlayStation Plus is to change the DNS settings of your PlayStation. I probably showed this like a million times now in like a hundred different videos. But again, for the people who do not know how to do that, you have to go into the settings, set up a internet connection, I use LAN cable, hit custom, IP address put it automatic to be quicker, DHCP not specify, and DNS settings manual. Change your primary DNS from whatever it is to Google's primary DNS, which are 8.8.8.8 .8 and secondary 8.8.4.4. Once you do so, go ahead and hit next. NTU settings will be automatic and proxy servers do not use. And then test your internet connection, restart your system, and try to do the purchase again. Now, a last thing that I thought about is to actually go ahead and sign out of your account. And then go ahead and create a new account in a different region. And then try to purchase the free trial, for example. If you are, if on your main account is you set to primary PS4, try to do other purchases and free trials on the other account that you just created in a different region. This might help you and this might be actually the fix for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope this made things more clear to you. And I'll keep looking into the subject myself, see if I, if I can find other solutions. And I'll come back to you with updated methods. And this has been it for today. See you next time.
Peace.